How's it going guys? Colin here from Trail Thrills and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to plan out your next off-road adventure using Gaia GPS. So what we're going to do in today's video is I'm just going to show you guys the basics and then I'm also going to show you how to mark checkpoints and then also different routes and how to download those routes onto your mobile device uh, for when you're on the trail and you need navigation. So this is just going to be a one take video. I'm not going to do any editing so I'm probably going to mess up but that's all right. So the first thing I want to talk to you guys about is using the layers. These different layers are included with the basic membership that you pay for. It's about $20 a year. You can upgrade to about $35 a year and get the premium membership, uh, which gives you a lot more layers and just a lot more features. You get some hunting overlays, some weather overlays. Um, with the basic memberships, you can get some topo maps, some road maps. And then you also get different layers, different countries. So these are the basic layers that we use right here. Um, just we use the Gaia Topo most of the time. We also like to use the USGS Topo and also the US Forest Service 2016 uh, layer since that's the newest layer for the US Forest Services. So yeah, that's just an introduction to the layers. So now I'm gonna show you guys how to mark checkpoints. And to show you guys how to map out a route, we're gonna map out the Broken Arrow Trail in Sedona, Arizona. Uh, this is a pretty popular trail. We haven't been there yet, but we definitely hope to go there soon. So we're just going to use this trail to show you guys how to map it out. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a waypoint. And what the waypoint allows you to do, it allows you to mark a certain area on the um, map. So we're going to mark the start of the trail right there. And then you click save on the waypoint and it'll tell you the coordinates of that waypoint and also the elevation. And then you can give it a name. Uh, it sometimes will automatically give you a name, um, sometimes it doesn't, and you have to make it your own. And then you can also take some notes, um, like say it's a campsite, and it has certain features, you can write those down. And then it also does have many, many, many different icons. So it's a campsite, uh, you can click on the campsite icon, and mostly I just use the red um, pin icon. But yeah, so that's an introduction to the waypoints. So then you can just X out of that. And that's the start of the trail. So you can see if we zoom in here, the trail goes along this um, white line right here. Gaia does have most of the trails marked out, um, most of the more well-known trails marked out, I should say. So then here's how we are going to create our route. So we click on create route, which is this line over here. And then we're going to take this little pointer that they give you. We're going to click on our first checkpoint. And then a line should pop up any second if it loads, which it is right now. There we go. And then we can scroll down on the map. And then we can just click a different location. And then what it will do is it will automatically like shift itself into place on the quickest route to get there. So that's the trail that we're going to take. And then you could also change it from hiking to cycling to driving. Uh, they're pretty much all the same, so it doesn't really matter what you use. But we're just going to go ahead and change it to driving. And then to continue mapping out your route, you want to keep scrolling down and then keep clicking on the trail just like that. And then we're going to click on another location, and it will take us along that trail until we get to the end of the trail. And then what we can do from there is we can click save and it will give us the elevation changes that the trail has. Uh, you could title the trail. So we're going to title this broken arrow trail. Then you could also add notes, change the color of the trail. Uh, let's just change it to red. And then it also gives you the distance 1.6 miles. So it's a pretty short trail. That's nothing much. But it's a really interesting trail, and then you can also get the um, elevation changes again. All right, guys, so sorry about that. Our screen recorder timed out, uh, so we're just going to leave off where we left off uh, at the route. So we're going to click on the route, and again, you can see the elevation, uh, where it is at the start of the trail. You're at about 4,290 feet, 4,300 feet. And then once you finish the trail, you end up at about 4,600 feet. Uh, so that's really helpful if you're interested in that sort of thing. Um, and then again, you could just change the title, add notes, change the color, whatever. And then now we're going to move on to 
creating another waypoint at the end of the trail. So we're going to click on the waypoint marker. We're going to drag it to the end of the trail. Click save. Again, we can see the coordinates right here. And then we can change the title to end of broken arrow. Just to let you know that you're at the end of the trail. You can take some notes if you want. Uh, you can see the elevation and everything. Uh, one other cool thing that you can do is there's two routes to this trail. You can either take this route right here or this route right here. Say you didn't want to take this route, you can uh, take your route tool. You can click on that space right there, click on there, and then click over here. And that will just give you another option for uh, a route that you can take. So then we could change the title to alternate route, just like that. Then you could also change the color of that if you wanted. Uh, you could add more waypoints if you want, if you see like a campsite that you like, um, you could definitely do that. And then one other thing, this is the last thing that we're gonna cover, is how to create an area. So say you have a bunch of trails in the same area, um, in Sedona, Arizona. We're not gonna go over all of them and mark them all, but say you just have a big area of trails. You can click this square right here, create area, and then you have the pointer again right here. Just click multiple different locations, just like this. And then just like that, and then you could click save and title it something like Sedona, Arizona Trail System. And it just helps to keep everything uh, nice and organized uh, so you know exactly what area you're in. You could also change the color if you want and also take notes. And then it gives you the perimeter in miles, so 4.17 miles for that whole square we drew, and then 670 acres. So that's pretty much it for the basics of Gaia GPS. Uh, when you have the mobile device, you want to just go to the Gaia GPS app and then click download, and it'll download that certain area, and then you can use it to navigate yourself on the trail. So hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and thank you guys all for watching.